What is up, y'all? It is Charles Arnez. We're about to get into this reaction video from one of my favorite comedians, Godfrey. He is talking about the recent beef with comedian Darnell Rollins from the Dave Chappelle Show. And one of my favorite comedians, Corey Holcomb. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hit the thumbs up button. Two of my favorite comedians. Like we, this footage that we see of Corey and Donnell arguing, it looks like it was in the middle of something and we didn't catch the, the beginning. Factory? Is that yeah, Laugh Factory, factory yeah. in <sighs> California, and I think it just happened. Yeah, last Sunday. Chocolate Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate, Chocolate Sunday. Sunday is negative as fuck, but go ahead. <laughs> Check out the video. That's okay. Wild. Yeah. You catch up. You ain't have no. Wait, you can't what? You can't catch up. I think he said this is Corey Holcomb on stage. On stage. On yeah. Donald Rock. Donald Rock. He's mild. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, your catch up. He says he's mild. What? You ain't hot sauce, right? Nobody agree? So I'm wrong. Okay. I can be wrong. I'm talking about, but we at the, we at the, uh, what is this called? This is the Laugh Factory. Wait, hold on, hold on. I can talk to you straight up. You want to talk about it? You saying... I'm mild. You said I ain't come through the streets or the gutters. It's straight bull. If you want to ask somebody, ask the mother that you know what I do. So, <laughs> okay, all right. Listen, listen. Let's be fair. Fair conversation. Land Factory, I want to stop this for a moment, y'all. Excuse me, but Land Factory, y'all wrong for this. This some this damn thing in the way. This is some cheap ass water y'all got. Ni Niagara water, that's the cheapest water. Y'all probably selling that water at the Laugh Factory with that two drink minimum, probably five dollars a bottle. That damn water, that's one of the cheapest waters anyway. This, 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 I'm sorry y'all. Let's, let's continue on. I think at least had uh, Z Zephyr Hill, a crystal light or something, a crystal water or something. Listen, listen. This be fair. Fair conversation. Okay, all right. Listen, listen. This be fair. Fair conversation. Because there's, you could tell it got. It came from somewhere. That came before that. Right. We don't know Donnell's work, nigga. Donnell's a funny son of a bitch. So, Donnell that, is I, a I will say bitch. it right here. I did his fucking rough ass room. No, I no did it too. Poke knockers and I took that train to DeKalb. Uh, fucking. What's uh, that other You know what? Um, I, 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 I have to agree with Corey. I don't find Don, unless he's doing a skit. On a show or a movie or something. He's funny in little skits and movies. Ash and Lad when he was on the Chappelle show. And little things he's done. Little parts he's played. He's hilarious in movies. Playing a character on TV shows. Especially doing skits. But I tried to watch Darnell Rawlings stand up. He's not really that funny. That To me. You know I really don't find his comedy. Stand up comedy. I, I kind of. I'm kind of recording with it. I, I find Darnell Rawlings comedy. A little bit mild. He may have me chuckle every night. Like I think I watched, and I try to give him a chance because he sounds and he actually looks funny. 
But I tried to watch his last stand-up he did. Now, now, you know, he has a new one coming out on Netflix. Maybe the new one he's getting ready to come out with this year, 2024. Maybe that one is, maybe he worked, Maybe he's funnier. I don't know. But a lot of people say that Donald Rollins is, is hilarious. I just don't get him. I'm, I'm with Corey on that, on, on that one. But as far as skits and stand and doing like movie stuff, TV shows, he's he, he's hilarious. Shit, he did. I was with Tony Peppermint Woods. Lounge. I did two Pepper steps down. I did Peppermint Lounge. I did um, I did just Terminal D. I did Manhattan Proper. I did all that fucking shit. <laughs> well, Donnell had some fucked up rooms. He did nothing. He's a hood comic. Kill ghetto ass room. And and dark nigga. Okay, here's the crazy shit. Darnell was there. You know why he trying to say he's mom? When them dudes was trying to extort Mike Epps yeah. at Port Knockers, Darnell was the one that spoke up for him. Yeah, what? Darnell. His, Hood. Here's there. Darnell is funny as Hood fuck. love. Don. Yeah, when you from the streets, man, you gotta have somebody to speak up for you. It's from from the streets, cause you you will you will be lying. You will be meat. Now is fun. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. Hit the thumbs up button. Be as shit. He's never bombed. He's funny than a motherfucker. Killer. Period. Corey Holcomb, same shit. Corey, Corey comes is, up from the ghettos of the Corey is hilarious. Chicago. But because, but, but maybe because the, he's in L.A. or because he was out there. Corey is hilarious. Know Donnell's work, but Donnell puts in the work. Donnell is a beast. He's a beast. And mm -hmm. I love Corey and his, and his honesty, but he was wrong on his acumen. Now, me, but I want to know, there's something behind that. Well, He must have just made, set, maybe they, something happened where Corey goes, yeah, you're mild. Maybe to piss him off. Because that's false. That he said, Donnell's right. not he funny. That's false. He, he even owned But here's the thing. Corey's brand is... I Corey was pissed off because he interrupted his show. That was Corey's set. I believe uh, Donna and Rollins had already performed his set, and he was getting ready to leave. So he interrupted Corey's set to do all... You know what I'm saying? That's why Corey was pissed off at him. He interrupted his set. I keep it 100. Yeah. Right? And so when the, when something happens, niggas, Corey's a nigga that they go to yo. Which we're gonna get into his response after this after this video, guys. Stay tuned because I'm gonna show y'all what Corey Holcomb said on his show, Fifty One Fifty Show. We're gonna go and get into that after this video. Hit the thumbs up button. Yo, who who am I? Yo, I want to hear what Corey got to say about. Me. Yeah. yeah. So he's one of those in the yeah. hood where yeah. those go to him. Let me hear what Corey. Mm. Take his yeah. Place. But when you say you the you keep it a hundred, and you try to say that Darnell is mild, mm. you <coughs> lose credibility because that is a lie. Yes. Nobody who knows Darnell would say he's in. <coughs> he's mild. He's confident. Nobody yeah. says take it in the face more. more than take it in the face, face son. Take it in the face, son. <laughs> now Darnell is funny it's off beast. stage. Donnell's funny off stage. Donnie's funny. Donnell's funny on. He's himself on stage. He's the real deal. Fuck that shit. Corey's the real deal. So I, I, all all these comments that came here in the article that uh, Donnell claims that another inflammatory comment that Corey made is is how, and part of how we got so angry. Is he let Corey alleged that anyone in comedy who has three movies or more under <coughs> <coughs> performing <coughs> ratio is someone in the business. Not true, because I have more than three <coughs> I got movies. 30. I got yeah, I got about I got way more than that, and I I, I don't have I don't have, probably not have as many. Wait, how many? Let me look. But how you said three or more? IMDb. Wait, no, no, we're not going here. Don't hey, mind. No, me. I just wanted. I Are we going? Right. Wait, we're going. If you have three or more movies, that's, that's so not true. I, Corey, Corey, three stop. movies. Three movies. I think Corey's also like. Corey fucking with people. Yeah, three movies. He is. No, Corey, and that's another thing. Corey, he'll say something, and people don't realize that he's joking. He's a comedian. People, for some reason, when he says stuff, it gets under people's skin. You know what I'm saying? And I think he even talked about it on his show. He said people aren't confident. If you don't have confidence, I may say something that's going gonna, that's gonna, to gonna get under your skin. If you aren't strong enough to be, know who you are. And know, and know and confident in who you are. And know that's not you. If I'm saying it and you give me, I mean, I'm getting under your skin, it means I must be saying some truth. Or you just ain't confident enough. To, you know, a confident person, but oh, Corey, fuck Corey. He just, he don't know me. That nigga crazy. You know what I'm saying? His thumbs up button, guys. Ain't nothing. Yeah. And if you can't get three movies, you can't act. Right, right. So, and there's people who can't act that are in 100 movies. In 100 movies. Right. 
So, but that's not true. If you're, not if you're, you're getting a, if you're getting a special, you're getting fucked in that. That's, that's, that's <laughs> not true. There's people who are getting things normally. Just hey, let's put them on. Or somebody likes you, and, and you get lucky, you. and you're not getting no fingers in the butt to be. Say Iron Man. I don't know why. I don't know. I I have to say this, but Gerard Carmichael ain't funny to me. He's kind of funny on his his shows, his TV shows, but. Gerard Carmichael came out of nowhere. He came out had he had his own TV show, movies, stand up specials on HBO like this, Netflix like this, and then people are like, Who, "Where did he come from? Like, who is this?" Cause usually, it's a build up for most black comedians. You know, it's a build up. You know, what I'm saying you, you gradually see them grow. You see them doing those, being, being like Kevin Hart. We saw him grow throughout the years. He would be in little small little parts. He was on, um, you know, I had just got to LA. He, had, he was in Office Space. No, not Office Space. Uh, 40 Year Old Virgin. Well, he came into the thing. He had a little small part. I'm about to come in here and I'm about to start clapping. You know what I'm saying? He, he, him getting into it with um, Romeo. I forgot his name. The guy from the comedian. He's not a comedian, he's an actor. Romeo something. Rome something that little scene and then when he did uh he was in scary movie I think four his scene he had little roles that he did and he gradually got himself to where he's at we've seen a progression but Gerard Carmichael ass just came from out of nowhere I'm like who is this dude then when it came out he was part of the LGBT community I was like oh so some of that stuff I think Corey say it makes some sense you know what I'm saying? When he came out, I was like, okay, it kind of makes sense how he got so much so soon. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. Let's continue on. But I always say, all right, man. But, um, yeah, I have more movies than that. And, no, that, that ain't never fucking happened. Well, how many movies you got? How many? I don't know. One, two, three. I mean, if, if, like, there's indie films. There's, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. 20. I, I don't you fucking have one in 20. I don't know. I mean... I'm looking up right if now. you say lately, they don't really yeah, put me in anything. Nothing. <laughs> nothing's going on. I, well, per, per, your IMDb says 66. 66. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Perfect, perfect, fine. That's the recent one with Gabrielle Union. came out last year. Right, right. That's a, that's a romantic comedy. Everybody check out Perfect Fine. If anything, see my scene. you're going to be an unbraided and the tramp? Yeah, unbraided. Oh, yeah. The tr- oh, it's it a got, voiceover. IMDb no more about you. Oh, I'm in... I mean, I'm a Virgo too. I play the I play the Siri voice, and I'm a Virgo. Oh yeah, the Siri. I didn't know that. There's a guy. He's good. Oh yeah, there's a guy. Who? Um, there's a um guy who's has the. Oh, it's, it's like a Bill Cosby. Yeah. Did you? It's like it's like it's yeah, yeah, time yeah, to wake up. That's me. Oh wow! It's like oh, time wow. to wake up. That was, time. Good, that was a good Siri. Yeah. My girl Cara's in it. Cara, <laughs> Cara, who I saw, I know. Well, I, how, what's my titles? I don't even. Want, I don't even know. Cause you just do it and you don't really. Oh, I am I virgin. I don't think about it. Yeah. So yeah. I want to go. Um, I want to also uh, go to the video. Let me see if I can find that video. Of uh, hold on one second, y'all. Let me find that video. I'm gonna play another video for y'all. Hold on one second. Godfrey's podcast. Subscribe his channel. But the video. Uh, Donna Rollins did a video with TMZ the day after the situation went down, and this is what he said on uh, TMZ about why he did what he did. I wasn't there to watch Corey. I had performed myself, and I was was to leave, and they announced that Corey's about to perform, and I know that he had said some ill things about Dave Chappelle. I know he said some ill things about some of the openers of Dave Chappelle, so I just sat there wanted just to see what his take on what he felt about comedy or whatever. I sat there mm-hmm. and I sat there and I just waited. And then he made the comment about that anybody that's done three movies in comedy has performed fellatio. Um, I said, wait a minute. I've done three movies. No, he does, he's not he's a comedian. I've never been accused of that. How can you take that literally? He's a, com- he's a comedian on stage Performing his set. He should know this. That's what I'm saying. Corey be getting under people's skin, man. I don't know why. He, he took that literally. It was a it was a joke he was making. Eddie Murphy, who, who a lot of these guys look up to, has been in shit, a shitload of movies. So, you know what I'm saying? That's who Corey look up to. So, it's like Richard Pryor's been like, come on. And I also fact-checked his IMBD 
and Corey himself has done four movies, so I don't think I it was a he was on it was a, it was a joke. Dude. Be guilty of his own joke. It's unfortunate it came to this. Should I have yelled out at him? No, but you know I'm a very you know I've been rocking with my guy Dave Chappelle for years. I'm a little guy to my friends, my fans, and my family, and it was just for me. It was a build up. It was a build up off of. A lot of things is troubling comedy. Corey is the type of comedy, he can go on stage, mm -hmm. start with grunts, and by the end of it, you're laughing hysterically. I did not want to scream out at him, but I felt like protecting the integrity of myself and my friends, I thought I had to say something. I thought I had to say something for people out here that have done over three movies. I want to talk about your oh, special, dude, please. this sounds yes. awesome. That's so stupid. He could have. He he was yeah he was joking that's they he, 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 they gonna interrupt the man set you know what I'm saying that's some anyway let me play what Corey had to say man let me go check uh, check out TMZ but um let me check out this other channel uh 5150 where Corey made his response about the, this happened this is right after the situation happened on Sunday at Chocolate Sunday on Sunset at the Laugh Factory this is on his show on Tuesday that following. Tuesday just passed, which is, I don't know when y'all watching this, but hit the thumbs up button. Let's continue on. Let me play the video. I want to play this other video. I'm sorry. This is the video of, uh, I'm going blunt at. This is the video with, uh, Corey talking about Dave Chappelle. It's on the 5150 show. Subscribe to his channel. Check out his channel. 5150 show. So this is, uh. This is actually my response I did last week. But this is him talking about uh, Dave Chappelle not being funny. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. <laughs> Good, stupid. <clears throat> I, I can't be quiet no more. <laughs> Uh-oh, he wouldn't get ready to say. My nigga Dave Chappelle be bombing like a motherfucker. I'm just keeping it real, dog. <laughs> oh. I want, whenever they say, hey, everybody, guess what? Special guest. Dave Chappelle. I'll be like, ah. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> no, Corey ain't just say Dave Chappelle ain't funny. He did. He did. He said Dave Chappelle is not funny. Right. Dave Chappelle is not, you know what? I'm going to come back with my reaction, guys. Yeah, I'm I want to see what you got to say. I kind of got to agree with him on something. On a little bit, I got to agree with him on some of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thumbs up button. Let's get back into it. <laughs> it's going to be hot garbage for at least an hour. I would maybe do. I'm, I'm not trying to shit on him, but he needs to understand <coughs> you throwing your weight around too much, man. Standing up there smoking with them irregular shirts on <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Pill is absolutely great. <laughs> great. I didn't say good. I said great. <laughs> the motherfucking nutty professor, them scenes where he was in the movies with Martin. When Dave Chappelle is in a movie, man, Dave Chappelle kill that shit. Undercover brother. We was talking about it before we came on. The Chappelle show was so good and entertaining. The Chappelle show, they were selling it in the barbershop. Mm -hmm. This is a TV show. Yeah. Right. They were selling the TV show in the barbershops. Hmm. Give Dave Chappelle his flowers. But stand up. God damn. <laughs> this, this man has so much power. <laughs> because of what he's done in movies and TV. Um. And he can go in any comedy club. They're going to put him up because he's Dave Chappelle. Right. And I promise you. This man is about to do a say no to comedy speech for as long as he up there. <laughs> <laughs> just, nobody has the courage to say Because it, it's Dave Chappelle. But Dave Chappelle be bombing like a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what? Oh, man. I'm chime in real quick. I will have to agree with Corey. I actually went to go see Dave Chappelle last year. Oh, really? Uh, they have this thing out here in Los Angeles called Netflix. Uh, Net, uh, Netflix Funny Festival, some shit. There's something that's crazy. Netflix Funny. I don't it's know. weird. I'm reacting to myself. 
I'm gonna react to myself. This is weirdo ass nigga. Look at him. Uh, so they have. The, the <laughs> Let me stop. Anyway, let's go on to the next video. So anyway, this is uh, me reacting to Corey what he said about Dave. Ch this is before. This is this 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 is from his show the week prior to Donna Rollins getting on stage. I mean, not getting on stage, but bursting out at his show. This is the week before on his show fifty one fifty. This is the week before. Donna Rollins went on stage because he so I figured that's where it came from. He was kind of he just said it on TMZ. He was kind of butt hurt about what Corey said right here about Dave Chappelle. Tell me, everybody watches his show. People act like they don't watch Fifty One Fifty. Every Tuesday night they on YouTube watching his show. Like his Corey, his show is fastly growing to be one of the top. Like he's he's really fastly becoming like it's it's out of him or Godfrey. They're fastly becoming. Like the black Joe Rogan, like you know, not to compare, you know, not to say Joe Rogan is better, but Joe Rogan is like one of the biggest podcasters on social media. He has over a hundred million subscribers on YouTube, twenty some million on Instagram. Every time he puts out a clip, it goes viral. So I think it's either Corey. I'm talking as far as like comedians having their own podcast, black comedians. Um, I'm trying to think who else is a top podcast uh show like i said godfrey godfrey has over 450 some thousand subscribers i think Corey has about the same about almost that i'm trying to think of some other individual black comedians that have a huge uh presence on social media as far as podcasting i can't think of any except for Corey godfrey i would say kev on stage but i don't know too i don't know i don't know if people follow him like that Kevin, Country Wayne, I'm sorry, Country, but Country Wayne is not a podcast, though. His is mostly just, I'm talking about just sitting down, talking, or interviewing people. I think that Godfrey and Corey Holcomb have the biggest platform for, like, as far as, like, urban, like, black. Then you, what you, do? Then you got 85 South. I, I stand corrected. 85 South is the top one. 85 South is the top one. 85 South. I would say has to be the top comedian pod. People would say, well, million dollars million dollar worth of game. Million dollars worth of game is not a podcast. I mean, I'm sorry. It is a podcast. Million dollars worth of game is not a comedian ran. I'm talking about a comedian owned podcast like Joe Rogan, like Bill Burr. Um, you know, comedians, you know, Gary Owen has a podcast now. But I, I think as far as black, I'm talking about black comedians. Urban comed black comedians, I believe um, Corey Holcomb and Godfrey have the top ones. It's eighty-five. I'm sorry, eighty-five South. It's eighty-five South. Then it's um, I would think it would be Corey and, and Corey and I would say and and uh, Corey Holcomb and Godfrey are about the same. I think you know. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Let's go to the next video. Now this now this is the video I'm gonna play, guys. Of um, Corey responding this past Tuesday about Darlene Rollins. You see, I did the one. I did the, the response what Darlene Rollins said, and this is what Corey said. <laughs> this is what Corey said about about Darlene Rollins interrupting his show that Sunday. Let me go ahead and play it. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. Short, whole nigga went up there. Did his time, plus stayed on longer. Let me tell all you, all you mild ass comedians. <laughs> it don't matter how long you stay on. Soon as you get off, they finna see another level of comedy when I go up. This sound arrogant, but I gotta say what I got to say. So, the whole ass nigga <laughs> the crowd wasn't me. He you called him a whole ass nigga. They be like, oh, they seen too much. No, they ain't seen shit. <laughs> I get up there. That's when they see something. So, Corey, cool, funny. The whole ass nigga. I didn't even know the nigga was in there. I thought I thought he left because he acted like he was leaving out. Yeah. The security guard <laughs> in the front. After all that shit happened, that whole ass nigga act like he was leaving, but he was like, "Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna watch this nigga." Oh. Uh, so he had some animosity with me. Mm, going I in. I'm a bit respectful to that boy because I'm scared of people that's ugly. <laughs> Corey. Corey is a damn nut. I'm scared of people that's ugly. 
So he, <laughs> so Corey is saying that he had already did his set at Chocolate Sundays at the Laugh Factory, and he was getting ready to leave. But then he heard they was getting ready to bring him, bring Corey up. So he told the security, like he told the security, "Fuck that! I want to see what he's getting ready to say." And he came in there with like, "Oh, okay." So he came in there with animosity. He came in there to, to disrupt Corey's show. That's crazy. He it, it was premeditated. Oh. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. Ugly people never get a fair shot in life. Let's just. Say, <laughs> are you ugly? Do we got that picture? Can you put that picture up for a second? Mm. When you ugly, dog, <laughs> the world is cold. You, mm. could be a, you could be caked up. You could have a bag, mm -hmm. but you still ugly. Yeah. That's why I'm scared of ugly people, man. That boy looked like one of them kids you donate money to, like 40 cents a week or something like that. Right, right. You know the little boy? <laughs> oh, he got done. <laughs> start laughing. <laughs> One of them looking motherfuckers. Look. Look at this nigga. Oh, this is a picture of self. Oh, he got an Asian wife? Oh, oh, Donnie Ross is married to an Asian woman? <coughs> mm. That's interesting because Dave Chappelle, who was his sidekick, who was his homeboy, Dave Chappelle married to an Asian woman. Uh. They both got a thing for the, for the uh, you know, love you love. I'm, you know. Hey, I'm all for it. But it's just, it's just, it's just, well, maybe he just saw Dave got an Asian woman and went and got him one. Being he like, you know, he like him so much, you know. He, you know, he, you know, um, Donna Rollins had had a medallion with Chappelle around his neck. I thought that was kind of weird, you know. So especially if he's not dead or nothing, you know. Like I wouldn't wear my my homeboy's initial around my neck. That's kind of, you know. Even though it was a TV show, still it's like, uh. He said, "Only reason he said, man, y'all don't realize he stopped wearing it too. People was clowning him for it. He's walking around with a ch with your homeboy initial on you. That's kind of yeah, that was kind of strange. You know, hit the thumbs up button, guys. He ugly. He didn't want to make oh, a baby shit. with nobody that remotely looked like him. <laughs> so mm. This is some male order bride looking ass Asian. <laughs> 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 And she left him right after the baby was out because he ugly. Oh my God! Ugly people will do something to you or start mess. This dude is stupid. They ain't got nothing to lose. Oh they no! Bitches at the club, they don't really want to fight. It be the motherfuckers who can't get bitches. This all mm -hmm. it all. Right. So I'm just saying. I'm up against an ugly person. They mad because they can't get it. You know, he was right. The dudes that be ugly, you be the ones be shooting at the club, be fighting at the club. And they mad because they can't get none. They done got this three or four times throughout the night, ignored. And they mad. And they see the pretty boys off in the cut, tonguing chicks down and stuff. They're like, damn. You know? <laughs> person. It's not fair. They need ugly people security. <laughs> Whenever somebody ugly come in, they should have to fill out a form different than everybody else. So the ugly boy oh. came in there, watch my show. On oh, all you people who didn't get the truth, here's the truth <laughs> right here. On oh, everything I love, the man was watching me do my thing on stage. His jealousy just bust out of him. I didn't say nothing to that man. I don't even. I when I see that man and I speak to him, I be like, "Hey, brother, how you doing?" <laughs> I always knew he was a whole ass nigga. There's a lot of motherfuckers, mm. Corey. I never liked that nigga and all that shit. I ain't playing that shit, but I got it for receipts. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Everybody, listen to this. I oh, so Corey saying that they been didn't really like each other. He said he got it from receipts. Oh, so Don and Rollins is kind of hating on Corey. It would it seem like. You know? Damn, that's cold blood. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. You the fact check this. When Damn I it. said on stage, if you've been in more than three movies, uh -huh. you probably had a dick in your ass. <laughs> that nigga said, hey! <laughs> Ask anybody who did that night. When I said, if you have done three movies, oh, yeah. you probably... I don't know how probably is spelled right now, but probably had a dick in your ass. Get 
he did say he did say he felt some kind of way about him saying that. He, and he when he said that he did say it on just on TMZ. He said he just said that. We just saw it. Hit the thumbs up button. So hey, it, it triggered something. That struck the nerve in that nigga. Right. For him to start talking crazy and yelling while I was on stage. Which is rude. So all you people out there who think Corey is the motherfucker who is the aggressor, you wrong. He a whole ass nigga. Who wanted some attention? Mm. Look, he did about an extra ten minutes than what he was supposed to do talking about my DVD coming out, y'all, and and, and y'all gotta support it <laughs> and all that stuff. To shit. Nigga, I hope this DVD, I, I hope this Netflix shit funny, mm. ass nigga. I want you to be rich as you could be, cause you ugly. <laughs> you need Oprah Winfrey type paper. To walk the earth, you want to walk the earth, homie. You ugly. Your neck like this. It's naturally like this. Watch that nigga when he relax. You know, when people relax, they do this. When people relax, they do this. This dude is stupid. He crazy. He's still he's stupid. be up. He's still be up. He look like one of those people from a village somewhere where people put oil pipelines through that shit without asking them. <laughs> That's what he looks like. He ugly. So he wants me to jump and fuck fall for the suckers. Hit the thumbs up button, man. Corey is stupid. The thumbs up button. Oh, man. This dude is a freaking nut. <laughs> Shit. This is for the youngsters. That man did everything in his power to get me to come out my body. <laughs> we live in we live in Hollywood, dog. Everything is a videotape. Mm -hmm. You can't come out your body because a nigga invites you to do it no more. Right. When you get with a motherfucker, you got to get with his ass somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. You can't just you can't just do 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 like back in the day. Boop, <laughs> you can't do that no more. It's a video of you doing whatever you do. Yeah. And if you really are here productive, man, you ain't got time to get in people money at the county. You ain't got time to get right. people time at the county. Mm -hmm. Wherever you at. That man tried his best to make me come out my body. But I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. it right. It. it ain't worth it. Right, it ain't worth it there. I said, if we were somewhere outside of Hollywood, you wouldn't be acting like this. Mm -hmm. And them people wouldn't let you talk as long as you talk. Right. He knew I was going up. That's why he was mad. Y'all act like I'm the motherfucker who walk around disrespecting people. Right. It's people out here know that they are men who mess with men. But they... <laughs> I'm going to stop it right there, man. If y'all want to watch the rest of Corey Holcomb's uh, show and his response is called the Ugly Larry Show on Corey Holcomb. Just type in Corey Holcomb and then it'll be the first one up there. Uh, I think. Well, if you're watching it now, but it's called the Ugly Larry Show, so y'all can go there and finish watching the rest of it. Anyway, um, he is crazy as hell. Corey Holcomb is a fool. He's crazy. Mm mm mm. Yeah, that was rude, man. You know, if you if you had a problem with this man, wait till he do, you've done your that's, see that's that's that type of shit I don't like. You've done your set, and made your money, and then you go come back and interrupt this man's set and interrupt his flow. You couldn't, you didn't have the respect for this man to pull him to the side. That's his opinion about Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is a, is a part of a play, and Dave Chappelle can speak for himself. Why are you speaking for him? It see that seems like this that's kind of weird. I don't know if Dave Chappelle get weirded out by him, but that should be weirded out. Like this dude is taking up too much for him. You know what I'm saying? But that's his boy. I understand. They like brothers, Dave Chappelle and Donald Rollins. Rollins, what was that? You know, Rollins, um, Rollins, Rollins, down there, Rollins. Yeah. So you know, but you you don't know, interrupt this man's set while he's on stage doing his thing. You don't go up there and interrupt this man over some bullshit. You couldn't wait till this man got off stage and confront him straight up. Hey man, what's that shit you said about Dave? Man, that's messed up. You know, you gonna you go. He had more. He had respect for you to do your set. Why you gonna go in and interrupt his show? You done did your show, and now you gonna go up and interrupt his? 
because you got some type of beef for him. That's messed up. You know what I'm saying? And that's unprofessional. That was very unprofessional for Darlene Rollins to do that. Very unprofessional. You know, he could have brought him to the to the to the to the side and talked to him. He really was that flaked up about him saying that by Dave. You know, a lot of people just a lot here. A lot of people have said this last. I just talked to my friend tonight. We was talking. I have. I told her I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the uh, the uh, new Dave Chappelle special. He just dropped in January last month. I haven't seen it. Um, and she said it's boring as hell. She's like the third or fourth person who have seen his the Dave Chappelle's last special. And he said it's boring. They said it's not funny at all. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't even feel like it's the Chappelle stand up. So you maybe one or two chuckles. So is Corey Lyon, his last special pretty much flop. Because everybody I've talked to said that the special is not that good. His last one he just, just, just did. So I don't know. What do y'all think, man? Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Appreciate it.